So thank you for staying with me. My name is Dr. Ngozi Adele, founder Crunch Econometrics. In this video, which is the second part of my mediation model series, I will show you how you can estimate the model using a structural equation approach. The data I will be using in this video is the same data that we used in our paper, which I've referenced here. If you are interested in this paper, kindly reach out to me on ResearchGate and you'll have access to the article. It's a very interesting article, I can tell you that. Now, the data scope, 42 countries in Asia and the Pacific from 2005 to 2015. So clearly, this is a panel data, okay? Our dependent variable is infant mortality rate. Independent variable is non-renewable energy. The mediator variable is carbon emissions. And we use two control variables, female secondary school enrollments, and health expenditures per capita. And these are the three equations that we specified in the article. I already explained this equation in the part one of this video series. But before I go into the estimation, let me talk about enrolling into PEBA on the Teachable platform. And what is PEBA? PEBA is Practical Econometrics for Researchers, Beginners, and Advanced Level Users. On PEBA, I have over 80 premium videos where I use SETA and AViews. The goal is to have at least 100 videos on that platform. These videos are suitable for both postgraduate students and researchers across all levels. What does it take for you to enroll into PEBA? Just a one-time enrollment fee of $100. There is no recurring payments. This is a one-time, one-off lifetime payment. Upon enrolling into PEBA, you will have access to free data sets Stata do files and related articles that will support the estimation technique. You also have access to prompt response that you are going to post on your dashboard. For instance, the video I'm using in this mediation series will be made available to all enrollees in PEBA. Okay, so you are going to have access to this data set so that you can replicate the estimation. So on the screen is the same builder in Stata. I'm going to show you how I came about this. Okay, so let me just briefly explain to you this part. As you can see right here, this is the dependent variable, infant mortality rate. This is the main independent variable, energy use per capita. This is the mediator variable, carbon emissions. And these are the two control variables, health expenditure per capita and secondary school female enrollment. Okay. And you can see the arrows. The arrows show you the paths and the direction of impact. All right. And um, the next slide, I have all the results from the structural equation technique. So having said this, let's go to Stata and let me show you how I built this structural equation model. So this is the data set that we used in that paper that we published in 2023. And I'll be making this data set available to those who have enrolled onto PEBA on my Teachable platform so that they can replicate what I'm going to do right now. So we have the country IDs. It's important that you have country IDs. These are the countries, 42 of them. Um, these are their respective regions because some of them are in South Asia and some are in East Asia and the Pacific. This is the year from 2005 to 2015. And these are the variables in their level form. Okay, five of them. And these are the variables in their log form. Okay, so this is the underlying data sets. The analysis was done using the log transformation. Okay, so you are going to have access to this if you are on my Teachable platform. So click on statistics, maneuver to same, then click on model building and estimation. So there you have this template on your screen. If you look on this side, you see different icons. And if you just maneuver over them, you see what they are for. Okay. So you can spend some time on this to see what these icons are there for. So now I'm going to show you how I built the structural equation model. So first of all, I'm going to click on this add observe variable, click on that and just place it on anywhere on the template. As you can see, you can place anywhere. So I'm going to place it here, starting with the main independent variable. Then I need to place 
uh, the mediator variable here. You can place anywhere, okay? It's at your discretion. So I'm placing this here. Then I'm placing um, the dependent variable, which is um, infant mortality rate. I'm placing here. Like I said again, at your discretion. So once that is done, um, let me just place the two control variables below here. You can place anywhere, really, okay? I place here and the second one right here. So I'm done with that. Then I'm coming here to click the arrow for the parts. I click on that and then I just put the parts. Let's do that again. Good. I do the parts. Let's try that again. Okay, done. Then I do the part, done. Then for the control variables, I create the part, done. And this, I create the part, done. So now it's time for me to label the boxes with the variable names. So let me start with this. Make sure after you have created your parts, come back and click um, the select icon, okay? Then start naming your variables in the boxes. Let me start with this. So right here, I double click. Then from here, I can just select the variable or just type out the name. So this will be uh, energy use per capita. That's it. And I click apply. That's it. Okay. Or I can click OK, which is fine. Then here is carbon emissions. Select it again from here. Just trying to teach you the rudiments. Once you know how to use it, you can use any approach that is convenient for you. So this next box is for... Um, okay that's done so this is for infant mortality rate so now let me just plug in the control variables which is um health expenditure per capita i click ok then the last one female secondary school enrollments let me just find it right here this is it and i click ok so now all the parts are nicely done okay and you can see that the moment you create your parts the error terms are indicated so this is the error term from the estimation of the emissions and energy use model, okay? And this error term here is on the estimation of the entire model, okay? <laughs> Let me just keep it simple, all right? So the structural equation model builder is completed. Now let's proceed to estimation. So I click on this. You can see this arrow right here, estimate, click on that. Then the model under method, you can see maximum likelihood, maximum likelihood with missing values and asymptotic distribution free i'm going to stick with the simplest one maximum likelihood okay then standard errors slash robust i'm sticking with default standard errors even though in our paper we use the satora bentler estimation so you have various um standard error types that you can use again i'm going to caution you make sure you understand the standard error that you are using okay so to keep it simple I'm using default standard error. I think that is all for reporting and 95% confidence interval. I'm not changing that. Maximization, I'm not changing anything. Advanced, I'm not changing anything. So everything looks okay. I click okay. So automatically you can see the results right here within the same builder. And if you go to stata, you have the results. Okay. So you also have the code. Stata will give you the same code right here which you can use to replicate instead of going back to the guidance user interface so this is the code you can see same you can see energy use impacting carbon emissions you can see energy use impacting um infant mortality rate and you can say and you can see other relationships in the code okay so automatically you have the code and um yeah this is the result from the model okay this is the result from the same builder so you can see here, the result is divided into two sections, structural, that shows you the impact of energy usage on carbon emissions. So this is the um, mediation effect, energy use impacting carbon emissions. And below that, you have the full result of infant mortality rates and the corresponding regressors impacting infant mortality rates. Okay. So let's wrap this up by going back to my PowerPoint. So here I just showed you how I came about the same builder. So you can practice that on your own. You are going to have access to the data sets. And this is the result. So you can see that um, the results perfectly corresponds with the same builder. Let me explain some things here. 
The figures on the parts are simply the corresponding coefficients. You can verify that from the results. So the coefficient of energy usage in the carbon emissions model is 1.1, okay, approximately. The coefficient of energy usage on the infant mortality rate model is minus 0 0.36 and on and on like that. So the figures you see on the parts are the corresponding coefficients. Now, the figures you see in the boxes, for, for instance, for this energy usage, the upper figure there is just the main value of energy use per capita, while the figure below is the variance, okay? So the figures in the upper part of the boxes are the corresponding main values of the variables. And you can see the error term, the variance of the error term in the carbon emissions model is 0 0.25 approximately, and the variance of the error term in the infant mortality rate model is 0 0.13 approximately. Again, let's go back to the results. And you can see everything right here. Everything right here, okay? So I'm going to stop here. In my next video, I'm going to um, show you how you can carve out direct effects, indirect effects, and total effects from this result. Don't go away. Please stay with me. Lastly, these are the articles that you can read up to uh, solidify your understanding about mediation model. I'm going to emphasize again, this is our paper. If you are interested, please link up with me on ResearchGate and you can have access to it. Again, this is Hayes 2013, a very interesting paper. Hayes 2013 has been cited over 82,000 times. Please make sure you grab a copy so that you can understand mediation modeling. Thank you so much. So I just showed you how you can estimate mediation model using the structural equation technique. The next video, I'm going to... Um, carve out direct, indirect, and total effects from the results that we just obtained. Thank you so much. If you have enjoyed this video, please share with your colleagues, like, and comment. Don't go away. I'll be right back.